A woman shot by police at Love Field today had several interactions with police and several arrests. And that includes arrests for robbery and arson and mental health evaluations. Police say 37-year-old Portia Odufua was dropped off at the airport late this morning, went to a bathroom, changed clothing, then came out with a gun and started firing. Police officers immediately fired at her and struck her. No travelers were hurt. Fox Force Peyton Yeager spoke to some folks who were there and forced to evacuate after the shooting and some now who are scrambling to get their travel plans back on track. Peyton. Yeah, Heather, we have been following this all day. Passengers who were past security had to evacuate when the shooting happened and then be re-screened by security. And then later on today, there was a ground stop. So thousands of cancellations across the country for Southwest, which we know is a huge hub here. The ticket counter behind me, this was blocked off earlier today with investigators on the scene. It has since opened up and we are learning more about the woman who opened fire here at the ticket counter at Love Field and her previous run-ins with law enforcement. Gunshots at the Dallas Love Field Southwest Airlines ticket counter caused panicked passengers to drop to the floor. Pop, pop in the air. All I can do is run. Dallas police say 37 year old Portia Odafua opened fire shortly after she was dropped off at the airport just before 11 a.m. This is a previous mugshot of Odafua from 2019 when she was charged with robbing a bank in Wiley. Monday, witnesses told police Odafua went to the restroom, put on a hoodie, and came back out holding a handgun. We don't know where exactly the individual was aiming. For the most of what we're seeing now, she was aiming uh, at the ceiling. A Dallas police officer then shot Odafua in the leg. Cell phone video shows first responders offering first aid before Odafua was taken to Parkland Hospital. No others were injured, and police not releasing a motive. Ashley Wyckoff says moments before multiple shots were fired, she heard Odafua mumble terrifying words. And she's making an announcement, like saying like somebody failed her husband or something, and it's like, I'm about to blow this place up. Past security, passengers took cover while waiting to board. There was a group of people just really like running for their lives and was just um, kind of shouting, run, run, run. Once it was clear, TSA told all Love Field passengers they must be rescreened by security. But they just told us to evacuate the building. Others were told to stay outside near the tarmac. After an afternoon ground stop, Love Field resumed operations hours later with law enforcement still on scene. Curtains blocked the Southwest Airlines terminal as FBI agents used a scissor lift to investigate the ceiling. Odafua is known to law enforcement. Here's a mugshot from a 2021 arrest. The 37 year old arrested multiple times on charges including bank robbery, arson, and making a false report of a fire. In the affidavit from a 2019 arson case, she's quoted telling police she was a prophet of God. There is history of mental health evaluations following her arrest. Meanwhile, thousands were stranded following Monday's shooting. More than 1,300 Southwest flights were delayed and nearly 300 Southwest flights canceled. Karen Cousins and her son Kendrick rushed to DFW International Airport to try to get home to Atlanta. But to actually be facing it and hear where it actually happened, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Over in baggage claim, a mother-daughter reunion. Charlie Pierre-Louis's daughter Charlotte was an unaccompanied minor flying in from Phoenix. The 10-year-old's flight was diverted to Lubbock before safely landing in Dallas. Waiting for that text message to come through, like it was the longest, like it was like an hour of my life. According to court records, Odafua was determined to be incompetent to stand trial. She was then ordered to a mental health program, but she never finished, and it's still unclear why.